Many folks came out of political lethargy to vote for Donald Trump. Amongst the disaffected, he was billed as the Patriot Savior. He mobilized both the libertarian intellectuals and the blue-collar conservatives. He would put an end to the endless war. He would single-handedly revive the long, cold economy. He would make the lame to walk and the blind to see. After the election, some went immediately back to lethargy, while others began to lose faith and still others have been on QAnon life support, hoping beyond hope that some incorporeal intelligence would deliver the gospel of victory. The gritty reality is that one cannot cure a cancer with a different cancer. Throughout history, the greatest blight on humanity has been one of its own creation, government. Hundreds of variations on the theme have been tried, and always with the same result. The problem can never be the solution. There is no magic formula that will ever transform force into good. All the alchemical necromancy and mystical incantations can never morph the concentration of power and wealth into a beneficial zombified creature. The temptations are far too great for mere mortals. The simple fact is that government is inherently evil. It assumes that having the blessing of the majority somehow confers morality upon the unambiguously immoral violently confiscating wealth and property from the masses simply because a body of selected officials say it is necessary is, has been, and shall always be immoral, no matter how lofty the purpose or grand the outcome. There is only one moral government, and that is the government of one. Only the individual can decide what is best for him or herself and how best to deploy his or her wealth to achieve it. Privacy, property, and self-determination are the only defense against unrestrained tyranny. Only free and voluntary association with those of like minds by whatever criteria the individual deems worthy is a valid way of life. In all the searching for answers, virtually no one espouses these simple facts because we have been conditioned to believe that the creature called government is necessary. We cannot imagine total individual freedom and the responsibility that goes with it. We crave the power of the mob to back up our theft and forceful redistribution of an individual's hard labor. In many ways, the superhero craze of the past decade is emblematic of our passive surrender to authority. Feeling powerless over our situations, we long for a savior to deliver us from the hell of our own design. We hunger for someone to validate our suffering and acknowledge our victimhood, though our pain is entirely self-inflicted. And that's the view we have from deep in the jungles of Borneo. Like, subscribe, and share, and toss a coin in our Patreon bucket to encourage us to do more. Thanks for dropping by. Sampai jumpa, y'all.